So now let's see how we can work with the blur and highlight annotation inside of Camtasia. So over here, you can see that I already have the recorded clip and to work with the blur and highlight, you simply go over here onto annotation and then go over here onto the fourth tab right here where it says blur and highlight. And here you have four options and all of them come with its own properties. So let's go on to the first one, which is blur. So if I were to drag this in, you can see this is what it works like. So if I were to drag and keep it anywhere, it blurs out that portion. So if you want to hide some information while you're actually recording the tutorial, then uh, you can do this. So let's say there's password that you don't want to show, or that there's some name that you don't want to show, then you can use this out. So uh, depending on where you keep this on the timeline, it blurs out that portion of the screen, just like that. So you can keep it anywhere you want. So over here, when you blur out, you have the intensity of the option right here in the properties, as you can see the, in the annotation properties, you have option to decrease out the blur or increase out the blur, just like that. So you can enter the value of the blur over here as well. However, you can see that you cannot go beyond 100 right here. This is the maximum amount of blur you want. If you want even more blur, just keep another blur just like this and it blurs out even more. So you can have two layers just like that. So I'm just going to go around here and press the invert button and let's see what happens. When you hit invert, you can see that only that part of the area is being seen out and everything else is blurred out. So you want your audience to focus on certain part of the uh, recording right here or the video and you want to blur out the rest of the content, you can simply invert it out. And that is how the blur annotation work. Then there's the spotlight. So if I were to go over here, everything else right here is uh, just um, uh, is just darkened out. So it is kind of like blur, but you still see the information behind uh, just like that. But you, you get to focus on a certain part. You can, of course, move this around. You can rotate it around, scale it around as any other annotation. And you have an option to increase the intensity to just see that part or decrease it out altogether, just like that, according to what you want. And this is the spotlight option right here. The third option right here is highlight. So let's say, for example, if you want to highlight a certain particular place, you can just go around and highlight this part out. Let's say, for example, I want you to focus on this part. I just highlight that part out. I can go over here and on the properties, I can select the color that I want to highlight it with. Let's say, for example, blue and so forth, just like that. And that is how it works. I can also work around with the highlight opacity or I can invert up the highlight just like that, as you can see right here. So just like that, I can go around and choose invert that out and everything else has different color. So it's kind of like spotlight, but spotlight simply has a dark color, but highlight, you can choose the color of your choice. So that is how it works out. Then the other option, the fourth and the final option is pixelate. So this is kind of like blur, but it has the pixelation effect as you can see. So you want to pixelate some portion of the image out instead of simply blurring it, then you can use this option. Of course, you can increase the intensity of the pixelation or decrease it out according to what you want. And that is how you can hide the information in the recordings right here. So all of these things are non-destructive, meaning if I were to move this onto the right, you can see that it is not pixelated. It only pixelates or blurs or adds an annotation to the part of the pictures, which is right here, just like this. So that is how you can use the blur and highlight annotations and work with its properties inside of Camtasia. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.